Keeping myself untouched for marriage was a laughable idea to me by this point. I had finally realised how open-minded I was when it came to other people and their needs, but never for myself. I returned to America, reflecting on my unbalanced and unfair arrangement. Maher was over there in Lebanon allowed to sleep around with as many women as he wished, and I was supposed to be waiting for him like a virgin nun. As soon as I arrived in Austin... I called my friend Raphael and we started seeing each other frequently. For the first time in my life, I felt unchained from social and cultural bondage. I wished I could tell Abu Salah and the likes, you finally have no control and no power over my mind. Angel, no more. Raphael loved me passionately and he'd say, we fit like a glove. He invested his time and effort in me more than anyone ever did. He helped me speak better English by teaching me new words and correcting my pronunciation. He taught me American children's lullabies when I asked him to. He showed me around the city. He tried to teach me how to swim and how to ride a bike. He even taught me how to drive a car until I perfected it. He would sometimes take me to his apartment when his roommate Jennifer was at work. I started loving Raphael more and more every day. He was my crazy Romeo. He loved me even without any hope of a future together. Of course, I had to keep that hymen intact solely for my great honour and virtuous reputation. My Zawaj Muta was so wonderful. I have never regretted that period of my life.